Hi everyone, today we will be doing experiment to separate all organelles in given tissue using centrifugation. So centrifugation is the process which separates or concentrates material suspended in a liquid media. The principle that involves is sedimentation. The basic materials which we require are acetone, distilled water, green leaves, glucose and starch. This technique is to separate the particles suspended in liquid media under the influence of a centrifugal field. Now we will be seeing the procedure. First procedure is glucose dilution preparation. Let's begin how we will be doing this. First of all, take 1.8 gram of glucose. Weigh the glucose on the weighing machine very carefully. Always remember when you will place anything on the weighing machine, firstly you need to do what tear. Press the tear button. Now after weighing, take a beaker, take a small beaker and take 10 ml of distilled water in it. Now dissolve 1.8 gram of glucose in 10 ml of distilled water. Mix it properly. You can use glass rod to mix the solution. This is what this is basically a stock solution. This is we are preparing our stock solution. Remember glucose in water 1.8 gram of glucose in 10 ml of water is our stock solution. Now take 4 Eppendorf tubes, clean them properly and dry them. Now mark each Eppendorf tube as 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Use the marker or any label to mark them. Now the next step is our serial dilution. This is the very simple step. Let's see how we have to do it. Now we have four Eppendorf tube. Take the first Eppendorf tube and add one ml of a stock solution in it. Now add nine ml of water. That means you need to make up it up to 10 ml. This is our 10% glucose. Mix it properly. Now take second Eppendorf tube. Now from the first Eppendorf tube, take 1 ml of solution, put it in tube number 2 and make it up to 10 ml. Remember you need to do the makeup up to 10 ml. Okay. This is our 5% glucose solution. This is basically the serial dilution process. This we will be repeating up to 4 Eppendorf tubes. Now take the third tube, take the solution, 1 ml solution from tube 2, add it into tube number 3 and make it up to 10 ml. This is our 2.5% glucose solution. Now last Eppendorf tube, tube number 4. Take the tube number 4, take a 1 ml of solution from tube number 3 and put in tube 4. Make it up to 10 ml. This is our 1.75% of glucose solution. In this way we have done serial dilution process and we have 4 Eppendorf tubes with different different percentage. 10%, 5%, 2.5% and 1.75%. Now the next step is we need to prepare the paste. For that take leaves. Always try to take the leaves which are soft in texture. It will be easier to crush. So take the leaves. Now crush them into thin paste and then add scent and acetone in it. Do not add too much of sand in it.
small amount of sand now we have our paste ready you can add more acetone if the paste is thick in texture now bring those four tubes in which we have done cereal dilution now you need to add two to four drops of solution of leaf extract to the cereal dilution of glucose remember not to add too much amount of extract and not too less amount of extract always remember this is what we are doing differential centrifugation so here we have our four solution mix them well now all four append of tubes are need to be placed in the centrifugation machine and then run them for 6 minutes switch on the machine and leave it for 6 minutes after 6 minutes just open the machine wait for it to stop take the test tube take the append of tubes out of the machine very carefully do not move them too much otherwise the layers will be disturbed and then photograph them now here are the results as you can see how beautifully all the layers are clearly seen and they are separated well i hope that it is clear to you if you like the video do not forget to hit the subscribe button and share the video thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye